to Dodger Vision. During her years on Sportsnet LA, she was a field reporter, establishing a bond with Jaime, so much so that she emceed Jaime's Ring of Honor ceremony in 2018. Now with the MLB Network, Alana Rizzo. I just wanted to take this opportunity to say congratulations on such an amazing career. I cannot believe that this is it as far as you doing Dodger baseball games at the end of the season. As much of a Hall of Famer as you are for what you do covering baseball, you are even more of a Hall of Famer as a father, a grandfather, a person, a friend, and a mentor. I truly appreciate all of the years that we got to spend together covering Dodger baseball, and I miss you very much. Felicidades, buen hecho, y buena suerte con todo. Te echo de menos y te quiero mucho. Bye. Thank you, Alana. In 1997, Jaime's partner, a legendary radio broadcaster, Rene Cardenas, came down with bronchitis. Our next speaker was called on to pinch hit. He became the Wally Pip of Spanish radio. 25 years later, I'm proud to introduce Pepe Inigues. Thank you, Charlie. Good afternoon, everybody. I only want to uh, take this moment to congratulate one of the models to follow. On behalf of the Dodgers fans, dance organizations, and all the broadcasters around the world in any language, especially today in Spanish. Could you imagine uh, for just a second how many stories how many players, how many generations have been with us in 64 years? Member of the Hall of Famer, it's unbelievable. It's a very special place. Almost seven generations grew up listening to him. From one family to another family, fathers, sons, grandsons. It's unbelievable. Anybody in LA Dodgers, got more years than Jaime Harin working behind the microphone doing the, the, the games. 64 years. Thank you for everything. Gracias, Jaime, for esas vivencias, esas anécdotas, apoyo, y por ser un excelente compañero por más de 30 años juntos. ¿Cuántos años viajando juntos? En la Florida, Vero Beach, Arizona, I remember I listened to you in Mexico for a long, long time. But I never told one day I will be with you in the same booth for so many years. 30. I cannot wish you to nothing but the best of the best to you, your family, and also Blanca from the heaven. Jaime Harrib, the legend of the Spanish broadcasters. Viva Jaime Jarrín! Thank you. Fernando Valenzuela was born on November the 1st, 1960. As best as we can tell, there is no broadcast of that event. Fernando Mania was born on April 9th, 1981. And we do have a recording of that blessed event with who else but Jaime at the mic. Hay dos as, la cuenta es máxima. Escuchen a este público, es algo increíble. Listo para el lanzamiento, le tiramos sobre ti, la esa concha. Qué forma de empezar la temporada, mis amigos. Fernando Valenzuela, en su primer juego como abridor en las grandes ligas, logra una blanqueada. Ladies and gentlemen, he needs no introduction except this one. 
He's simply one of the most popular players to ever play for the Dodgers. Fernando Valenzuela. Todo lo que me ha sucedido en mi carrera aquí en Los Ángeles eh, ha sido por esa gran ayuda que, que siempre me has, me has brindado, así de que realmente para mí ha sido pues, uh, cosa muy especial. Uh, después empezamos a estar en la locución, en, eh, como comentarista. Gracias por darme esa oportunidad de estar contigo durante estos años. Yo creo que aprendí bastante de lo poquito, pero más o menos eh, estando contigo todo el tiempo, yo creo que eso es una gran ayuda para mí. Recuerdo muchas cosas que pasamos cuando empezaba mi carrera en el 80, 81. Pues, eh, recibí mucha ayuda tuya para estar atendiendo a toda la prensa, entonces yo creo que eso es para mí un comienzo bastante grande, que eh, gran ayuda que, que me diste. Si es de que bueno para todos ustedes, que son Adairs, Jaime Jarrín, 64 años, en, este, en su carrera, Salón de la Fama, muchos Juegos de Estrellas, series mundiales. Realmente yo creo que Jaime ha vivido el béisbol ah, estaba, yo creo que todo ¿no? entonces realmente una de las cosas importantes para todos ustedes es que les ha llevado el béisbol de los Lions día tras día a sus casas así es de que bueno Jaime muchas gracias y bueno que este retiro bueno para pasarla con toda tu familia y, y muy merecido todos estos 64 años. Felicidades. Gracias. Tonight, of course, we have gathered some of the game's great broadcasters and personalities to pay their respects to Jaime. We have spared no expense. We have gone to the mountaintop. We have gone to the highest authority. Our next speaker played the game, albeit not terribly well, but he has announced nearly as long as Jaime has. Our next guest knows everything there is to know and everyone there is to know about our game. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Baseball, Bob Euchre. Hey, my friend, it's been a long time since I've seen you, and uh, now they tell me you're going to retire. I thought you retired a long time ago. I, I enjoyed watching you play, and uh, I don't think anybody shoots a hook shot any more the way you do. So, um, in your retirement years, keep dribbling. It's what? It's not Kareem? Who is it? Jaime? Kareem? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Um, believe that. Just continue on. Go on. Uh, Jaime! Hey! It's Bob Uecker. Just checking in and um, remembering all the good times. Um, I, I'm sorry you had to work some of the games that I played too, um, but our friendship through broadcasting continues and will continue long beyond broadcasting. So I'm sorry I missed you in LA this year and here in Milwaukee, but uh, our friendship continues, I mean. Good luck, God bless you, and I'll see you somewhere down the road. Again, it's Bob Newton. Mr. Baseball, 
In case you haven't noticed yet, Jaime is a beloved figure on and off the field, and especially by those of us who have worked with him after all these years. Jaime Harin, mi amigo, from across the country at Yankee Stadium to you at Dodger Stadium, congratulations on a truly Hall of Fame career. 64 years, from Colfax to Kershaw, from then to Valenzuela. You've been there for all of it, and you've been superb at your job. You're a Dodger legend, and it's a pleasure to call you a friend. Congratulations on a great career, and much happiness in your retirement, Jaime. Hi me, my friend. It is Dan Schulman here in Toronto. I wanted to wish you just the biggest congratulations I can on an extraordinary career. You have meant so much to the Dodgers and to their fans for so many years, and it has meant so much to me to be able to call you a friend for uh, many, many years as we got a chance to work at Dodger Stadium a lot during the regular season and even more so in October. One of my favorite things every October, if I were to be put on a Dodger series, was to be able to see you at the ballpark and to talk baseball and life with you uh, a little bit. Uh, you have had a wonderful career and you are such a, an incredible ambassador for the Dodgers and for all of baseball. I look forward, I hope to see you again this October and again wish you all the best in your retirement. Hi, May. John Miller with the Giants on the shores of McCovey Cove in San Francisco. Thinking about you and the fact that you are retiring. Congratulations. What a career, but also what a story. American immigrant success story coming to this country all those many years ago back in the 50s and then becoming a huge presence with the great franchise in Los Angeles and part of the whole success story of the Dodgers you were there from the very beginning so Jaime I always remember the 1974 World Series my first year broadcasting baseball because you know I'm just a really young guy unlike you and sitting in the back of your booth Jerry Doggett and I were not broadcasting the games. It was all a network thing. There was no local broadcasting being done. And at some point, we were so rude, and Jerry and I, you stood up from your broadcast, and you turned around and said, very politely, I might add, would you mind being a little more quiet? Because we're broadcasting the game. So we were very apologetic, and we toned it down. And you said something that I've never forgotten. Maybe you remember. You said, El Lanzador Maravilloso viene a bola, saca foul. And I remember that to this day. Words that I've lived by ever since. Jaime, felicitaciones para tu retiro. And we hope to see you at the ballpark many, many times. All the best. Jaime, so many memories, so many things that we need to say thank you for. Of course, thank you from all the Dodger fans, but on a personal note, thank you for being my mentor, my role model, my friend, my father, my Spanish father. And I have so many memories, and I look forward to more dinners, more listening to your old stories, but really growing closer and closer to you every year. This is not goodbye, friend. This is just a new hello. I mean, you've meant so much to so many people through the years, and I just wanted to share a little bit about what you've meant to me. You've been a couple things. You've been a lot of things for me, but I'm going to narrow it down to two. First and foremost, you've been a friend. I came here as a young guy, 2016, and didn't know anybody, didn't know my way around, and you were one of the first people to put your arm around me, make sure that I was comfortable, make sure that my family was comfortable, and to this day, one of my very favorite things, one of my very favorite parts of each day at the ballpark is when I bump into you, when you swing into the booth and we get to chat, I'm always going to cherish those moments. So that's the first thing, you're a friend to me. And the second thing you've been since the day I met you is an example. The way you carry yourself. I watch that. I see the way that you carry yourself. I see the way that you treat everybody that you come in touch with. And I see the way that you've worked so consistently well for such a long time. It's incredible to me what you've done throughout your career. You always mean so much to me. A friend, an example, and so much more to me and to so many people I may Enjoy retirement after one of the greatest careers that this sport has ever seen. During his six flamboyant seasons with the Dodgers, there were very few 
who could tame the wild horse, Yasiel Pui. I may became the horse whisperer. Let's harken back to those thrilling days of yesteryear from South Korea. Yasiel Puig rides again. <laughs> Lanza el interesado el corredor, va paso de lado, jardín derecho, va hacia atrás, cuida hacia atrás, hacia atrás, hacia atrás, y captura la pelota, viene el tiro, va a primera, y le pone ya en primera. ¡Qué tiro tan espectacular de Yacier Puig, amigos! Hola Jaime Jarrín, por acá Yacier Puig, eh, para mí fue un placer haberlo conocido, haber conocido y compartido con usted y su familia y me estoy mandando buenas vibras acá de Corea en su jubilación y que yo hoy lo siga bendiciendo al lado de su familia y ahora que tenga tiempo para su familia y que siga compartiendo y siga siendo la gran persona y el gran ser humano que usted fue conmigo y ha sido para los latinos de Los Ángeles y todo su carrera. Que Dios lo bendiga. Un saludo para nadie. Listo, Julio. Lanzamiento. Captado el tercer strike. Y los Dodgers son finalmente, después de 32 años, los amos absolutos del béisbol de Grandes Ligas. Cae aquí en Los Ángeles el trofeo del comisionado decretando a los Dodgers de Los Ángeles como los monarcas del béisbol en el año 2020. Hola Jaime, lo quiero felicitar por su gran carrera que ha tenido con esta gran organización que son los Doyes. Eh, muy contento y afortunado de tener la oportunidad de, de saludarlo, de conocerlo y que tenga la oportunidad de narrar los juegos. La verdad que siempre se va a quedar en mi mente, en mi corazón por, por todos esos, esos bonitos recuerdos y todos esos bonitos juegos que, que le tocó narrar. Eh, obviamente me siento contento y afortunado de, de ser hispano, de escuchar obviamente sus juegos en, en español y le da ese toque extra que la verdad eh, no cualquiera tiene y me siento bien contento y afortunado de poderlo eh, saludar y desearle lo mejor ahora en lo que sigue para, para su carrera. La verdad de corazón siempre va a tener un, un amigo y, y pues ya sabe, una casa en México siempre. Thank you, Julio. Roger fan, Edward James Olmos. Okay, I'm uh, emotionally drained. I must tell you, this is a celebration for one of the greatest human beings that's ever graced this stadium. Him and Vince Scully have given us their lives and both deserve us to understand the sacrifices that their families had to give. Let me just say this. Tengo un orgullo estar aquí con Jaime en este momento de su vida. Es una maravilla lo que ha pasado con este hombre como un líder de todos nosotros que lo están entendiendo ahorita. Todos ustedes que hablan español, por favor, griten. And for those of you that are Spanish impaired, anybody that was screaming next to you, just ask them what I said. What you don't understand that we're celebrating, and you've heard us all, say this about Jaime. Integrity, dignity, a sense of understanding of humanity that supersedes almost all people I've ever met. His family, Jorge, Mauricio, todos. Que Dios los bendiga. Please understand, you sacrificed the most. You gave it most. Estoy llorando. Entendiendo lo que estoy diciendo ahorita de parte del sacrificio de la familia y de Blanca y de todas las vidas que, que Jaime ha tocado. We are here, and I must tell you that on the backs 
and the understanding of all the people who lived at Chavez Ravine before the stadium was built. I say to you, all of you, that because of Jaime committing himself to speak, being the first Spanish-speaking announcer in 1959, he came into this stadium being called every single name that could be called against someone because he believed that there was unity. And yes, there was a lot of governmental situations that made this stadium very difficult. But if it wasn't for Jaime, Jaime, and then with the help of one Mexicano, Fernando Valenzuela, between the both of you, lo que hicieron es una maravilla. Cambiaron el futuro de Latinos en este estadio. Well, you have heard more than enough from all of us here on the podium up on Dodger Vision about Hyman. Now, it is time and my distinct pleasure and honor to introduce the fella I call Jefe every day. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hall of Famer, the incomparable Jaime Hari. Senador Padilla, Mayor Garceri, Angel Mancedillo, to my supportive family and guests, and to you, mis queridos fanáticos seguidores de los Dodgers. I have had the privilege of speaking to you for the past 64 years. But no matter what I say, it is not enough to say thank you. Forgive me, but it is not enough for what I have in my heart. I have loved being with you, being part of this great organization, bringing you Dodger baseball. There are several dear friends and colleagues that have helped me and inspired me so much along the way. My broadcasting partners over the years, starting with René Cárdenas, José Elfar García, Rodolfo Hoyos, Pepe Iñiguez, José Mota, and of course, the great Fernando Alenzuela. If not for Walter and Peter O'Malley, who knows where I would be today? But I do know one thing. I still would have been a Dodger fan. A fan of the greatest organization ever. The organization that gave us Sandy Koufax, Dan Drysdale, Oren Hershiser, Tabitha Sorda, Maury Wills, Manny Mota, and Vin, my dear, dear friend, Vin, whom I miss so much. My salute to Dave Roberts and to each and every one of the players that wear the Dodger uniform. I salute to you and I wish you always the best. I know that you are going to conduct us to the World Series and to win the World Series. So, it is time. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Stan. Thank you, Magic. And thank you, Lon, for this wonderful celebration. And to you, our wonderful Dodger faithful, thank you 
I love you all. Permítame decirles, mi corazón rebosa de gratitud para con los Dodgers y para con el destino que me puso aquí frente a un micrófono despidiendo las hazañas, los sinsabores, los éxitos y también las derrotas de un equipo consagrado mundialmente como es el equipo de los Dodgers. Quiero agradecerles a todos ustedes por venir esta noche a felicitarme. Tal vez no lo merezco, pero aprecio en todo lo que vale su asistencia aquí esta noche. De corazón, muchísimas gracias y que Dios les bendiga a todos. Buenas noches.